So I ran across this model of a multi-tool, and this is the TLLS 8-in-1 Model Q1. And this reminds me a lot of Song's bargain brand, Tool Logic, and they came out with a model very similar to this. So what you have on this multi-tool is a very small plier head, first of all. This is in conjunction with the Sog Power Pint, comparing the two. You'll notice that the Power Pint does look fairly a lot larger, actually. The Power Pint is a very small multi-tool. So this will come in. Let's go ahead and measure this quick. So this comes in. Uh, the whole tool will just be a little bit over four inches. Then at the widest part, it is just a little bit over an inch wide. So it comes in right about the size of a normal pocket knife. And it does have that sort of cheaper pocket knife feel to it or look to it. It's got the serrated blade, that combo edge. And you are not able to bring it out one-handed because what happens is it actually you're pushing the blade over when you do that so you do have to use both hands it's not extremely smooth like some multi-tools we've seen recently but it does work and one of the things that is sort of unique is that the frame is actually the lock so when it snaps into place and then the frame is segmented and then you push it back so that's a interesting design. You do have a nice, fairly nice pocket clip on the back. And then you do have a five lumen flashlight. Supposedly it takes an hour to charge and then it can run for three hours. So I have not tested the three hours. That seems a little bit long, but maybe it does last that long. Then you also have a four millimeter double-sided bit. Got the Phillips and the normal uh, straight edge. And then you do have a second backup double-sided bit as well. And I did try normal four millimeter bits will work in here. They just sink very far down. So the double-sided bits, it is definitely more intended for that. So that is basically the functions. I did want to mention that you do have a micro USB charging port. So it's not the C type, it is still the micro USB. But that is the functions of this tool. And this is the packaging it came in. And then on the back, the, this is some of the technical information that it talks about. Micro USB, one hour, three hours, uh, five, five lumens, and then the battery type. And this is what it lists as the tool functions. So a unique little multi-tool. Now I did want to compare it to some of the other multi-tools on the market right now. So this right here was on eBay for $20. I, I think there's maybe one left on eBay. So I would try to link it if I can. I don't know if you can find this, but I would imagine some of these tools sort of come and go on eBay. So you might be able to find one in the future. Now, if you can't find this, SOG does have the Flash MT, but it's around $70. So this is 20, this is 70, but this looks like it feels a lot better quality, to be honest. So this sort of has a cheap gas station knife feel to it. That's how it, it feels like. And this definitely feels more like SOG quality. I really, I actually sort of like it. I, I just prefer a larger multi-tool. That's why I don't use it. I like that it does have, let's see, I think I have this locked, but no, I guess I don't. But anyway, it does have the assisted knife blade, so that's pretty fun. And then you do have the four millimeter bit option right here, and the bit stores in the handle. And then you do have a screwdriver, I believe, and a kin opener on, or a bottle cap lifter on the back here as well. And it does have a nice pocket clip. So this definitely feels a lot better quality, but again, it is around that $70 mark. And SOG has an older version of the Flash MT, and this you can actually find on AliExpress sometimes, but I think it's still around $50 there. So... This is a unique multi-tool, uh, but again, it does feel rather cheap quality. So just be aware that if you uh, buy it or find it, I definitely think $20 is about the max of what it's worth. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.